Welcome to 3D Amazon FBA. Today I want to talk to you about how I completely crushed it yesterday on Amazon. Let me pull up on my phone. So yesterday I did almost $2,500 in sales. And prior to yesterday, I had never done more than 1650 which was actually the day before that. Back on uh, Prime Day, you know, several months ago, I hit around 1650 I don't remember the exact number. And then two days ago, I pretty much met that. And then yesterday, I just crushed it. And here's a screenshot of my, my sales. Did 24.27 yesterday, and I moved 109 units. So um, yesterday was a really good day, to say the least. So, um, you know, I do a lot of sourcing at, like, Ross and stores like that. And I had a ton of orders from... Most of it came from Ross because I sold a lot of high dollar toys So let me pull up and we can go over some of the stuff that I sold That's just crazy um, But yeah, so it was really exciting and this week I've kind of taken it easy But you know, it took a lot of work for me to get there. Um, I was sourcing three four days a week I mean I was working like sun up to sundown some days uh, my inventory is higher than it's ever been by about well before yesterday I was at like $35,000 worth of in stock inventory and now I'm down to probably about 3100 3200 something like that after everything All right, so now that I've got it loaded so I sold two nerf guns yesterday for $144 a piece um, I think my cost was 70 so I think I'll make like 30 40 dollars profit off of those I don't remember the cop um, what exactly my my profit was but it was like 30 40 dollars a piece what else did I sell so let's go through here I sold some DeWalt saw blades someone bought five of them for 14 dollars a piece I think my profit on that was about eighteen hundred dollars or not eighteen hundred excuse me eighteen dollars something like that uh, Recently, I came up on a bunch of Skylanders toys, you know, the little vinyl video game um, plug-in to play. Or I don't know if you call it plug-in, but you put them on the little holder and you can play as that character. I sold a few of those yesterday, and I'm selling, some, selling them between $14 and $22. Let's see. Um, some board game called Drop Mix. I came up on, I think I bought about 30 of them last week. And I sold three or four yesterday. And I'm only going to make like $5 a piece because the price tanked. And I think I sold four. Let me see. I sold a lot of candy. I'm still selling Halloween candy. Like yesterday, sold three bags of some Mellow Cream pumpkins for $15.45 a bag. And um, yeah, I bought, I sold three and I think they cost me like $2 each. I'll make like four or $5 each. Um, the for real pets, there's one that I find at Ross every once in a while. I sold, I think, six of them yesterday for um, between $105 and $93. The price fluctuated all day. Yeah, I sold six of them. I sold three at $93.40 and three for $99. It must have been, I sold one for $104, but that was apparently the day before. So I sold a, a Peppa Pig advent calendar for 60 bucks. I don't know why anybody would buy an advent calendar for $60, but I sold two of them. Let's see, what's this? I sold a My Little Pony um, toys. There was like a bunch of little My Little Ponies inside the case for $40. Some Hot Roll Mix. Um, I sell tons of it and I get it really cheap at the store I think I sold um, like five of these bundles of two like I always say in my videos with grocery you know you can sell bundles sell two three of the same item in a bundle people eat that stuff up oh I sold three of them for twelve dollars a piece so not not like huge wins or anything like that but it all adds up really quick let's see does that drop mix Yeah, give me a second while I find something. Yeah, here's some some cake mix. It was a bundle of four. 
somebody bought two of those for fourteen sixty six a piece. Um, so that's probably about seven or eight dollars profit on that order because the cake mix is really cheap at like Winco and stuff like that. So you can get cake mix for like a dollar. So my buy cost was probably about four to five dollars on that. And I'll make three or four dollars each bundle. Let's see. Some apple cider vinegar that cost me three dollars. I sold a couple bottles yesterday for fourteen dollars each. Um, some peppermint bark square candies. I sold a two pack for twenty-one dollars, and my buy cost was seven. So I'll almost double my money on that. Um, sold a uh, Minnie Mouse scooter for $45 yesterday and my cost was like 15 so I'll make 12 or $13 on that. Spider-Man toy I sold for 40 bucks and my buy cost was, let me see, I think it comes to $12.93 after tax. So that's like huge win there. Let me see. What else? Yeah, I'm selling Shopkins. I did a video of five toy brands that you should look for this Christmas. I sold three different Shopkins toys yesterday for about $17, $18 a piece. Let me see. Yes, here are some chocolate truffles. I want to say it was a three pack. So I probably paid about $10 and I sold it for $24.31. So I'll probably make seven or eight dollars on that. Let me see. Wooden jigsaw puzzles. I don't know if I, I think I did uh, a video on like finds I had at Five Below. And I keep buying these wooden jigsaw puzzles I buy at Five Below. I sold two yesterday for $17. And I think my buy cost is $5.40 after tax. So I'll make five or six dollars on them and I sold two yesterday. I sold, I won't make a whole lot on this, the fees were kind of high, but I sold a ukulele, like a Toy Story 4 branded ukulele for $35. Um, I think my profit was six or seven and I think I paid $14.06 after tax. So I'll make like 50% ROI on there, but it sold, it was in the warehouse less than 24 hours and it sold. So it, it was really quick to get get rid of it. Some Reese's peanut butter cup um, Christmas candies. I sold five bags yesterday for eight dollars and seventy four cents a piece. I'll make like two fifty each bag, and it cost me I think two ninety eight. I think that's pretty close to what it will come out to. Um, it hasn't hit inventory lab, so I don't know for sure, but. You know, I sold several of those. And let me see if there's anything else that's really exciting that sold. Uh, yeah, it looks like that's most of the big stuff that I sold. I mean, I still sold all my regular stuff that I sell every day. Um, there was a few things I marked down that just didn't move that just were accruing too much. <clears throat> Excuse me storage fees that I've been trying to get rid of for a few months but that only counted for like 